But too cold, <laughs> too cold for them. Let's get started with a look at those numbers because as far as what's going on, it's not only the cold, it's also the rain and snow that we have out of our southern New Mexico this morning. So portions of Grant County, a little bit of Catron County, looking at some light rain and snow. If I zoom this down over towards the Sacramento Mountains, even a little bit of Socorro County and down towards T or C, you'll find some of these wintry mix showers. I do expect some accumulation out of the Sacramento's, and this will be through the day today, uh, even a little bit into Wednesday. Day, but for the most part, it'll be south of I 40. Zooming this out, there's actually a storm system helping push a little bit of moisture in here. That storm out of our Southern Cal and into Arizona. But check out this guy up over the Midwest, and you can see that giant cold front swinging down. I mean, that is a pretty powerful cold front. I want to show you the numbers because we can see where that front has been. Behind it, Oklahoma City 35. In front of it, closer to 70 in New Orleans. Same kind of thing down there in Houston. But you can bet as that front swings across the deep south, those 60s will be gone. As far as what's going on here at home, it's the single digits up to the north. Teens and 20s mixed out over northern New Mexico, and then to the south, 20s, 30s, and 40s. It is significantly colder than what we had yesterday, down by 23 in Taos, colder by closer to 30 in Raton. This is that brutal reminder I was telling you about yesterday as to what month we're actually in because our temperatures are coming down statewide. Even Albuquerque, looking at temperatures about four to five degrees cooler than yesterday, leaves us in the mid to upper 40s underneath that mostly to partly cloudy sky. Now, as far as our rain and snow chances go, like I mentioned, most of this will be south of the interstate. Not to say we can't see maybe one or two of these sneak closer to that corridor here. So that's going to be something to watch for here in Albuquerque. It's not going to be much in the way of accumulation. I expect maybe a few inches over the Sacramento Mountains as well as the Southwest Mountains. We also have a winter storm watch in effect for the Guadalupe Mountains in Eddy County starting tomorrow. So this is where we expect maybe a little bit of a headache when it comes to the road conditions with some of that wintry mix and the snow sticking. But again, it's a few inches over the higher train up to the north. It's just the sunshine and the cooler temperatures. So again, we'll take it. We need it. We are going on here in Albuquerque. This will be 61 consecutive days of no rain if we don't see anything today. By tomorrow, our chances come down to zero here in Albuquerque. Sunshine continues, and then this actually continues through the later half of the week. Despite this cold front, all that cold front's going to do is reinforce those cooler temperatures. So it'll take a while before we actually get back above average. Southern Colorado looking on highs in the 30s today in Pagosa Springs and Alamosa. 41 Durango, 44 Cortez, a couple degrees warmer come Wednesday. Northwest highs in the 40s up here, but check out those overnight lows down to three in Gallup tonight, nine in Grants, 12 in Farmington. Southwest looking at a mostly cloudy sky. Again, you have potential to pick up some rain and high mountain snow. High temps will mostly push 40s and 50s today. Southeast, 30s and 40s over the Sacramento's, and those 40s over the lower elevations. Uh, rain and mountain snow likely today. Northeast looking at a mostly to partly sunny sky. Upper 30s in Broy and Coppoline, 41 Raton, 42 in Santa Rosa. Not likely to see anything in the way of significant showers up here over the northern mountains. You'll actually see sunshine dominate for the next few days. Highs in the 30s and 40s for the high country. East Mountains, mostly cloudy with a few spotty showers possible. High temps in the low to mid 40s this afternoon. As we take into the metro, you'll notice increasing cloud cover through the day, a few spot showers. Possible, but I wouldn't rearrange your day over those rain chances. It looks better further to the south. We've got 40s through Thursday, 50s and sunshine coming in for the weekend. So, of course, we'll keep you updated not only on the forecast, but also how the roads are looking like out there. Okay, yeah, good advice. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kristen. We'll be right back.